Okay hey guys, what's up? I am back with my second Cody video and I'm excited to share with you guys what I've learned on the new update and how Exodus is now Covenant and how Phoenix is now been new and I just wanted to share what I've learned with you guys so if it does help you make sure you let me know in the comments below and thumbs up the video if you like. So let's just get right into this. Okay guys, so if you're new to the Amazon Fire Stick, this is your home screen. Um, this is what it's going to look like. There may be different variations depending on what they have displaying at the time. But this is your home screen and this is going to be a platform where you can actually cut the cord to cable. Because I've done so and I am never going back. So let's get started. From your home screen, you are now going to scroll over at the top and you're going to go to settings. When you're in settings, the first thing that you want to do... We are going to go down and over to Applications. Once you're in Applications, you want to turn that Collect App Usage Data to Off. Okay, so you get the little pop-up, make sure you turn that off. You don't want it to collect your information. And now we're going to go back to Settings. You just hit the back arrow. And we're going to now go to Device. So once you're in Device, you want to go to Developer Options. You want to turn that ADB debugging on and you want to turn on apps from unknown sources again you'll get a pop-up click turn on and you're good to go so, okay guys so from here we're going to go all the way back out to the home screen you can actually click the little home key on your remote and that'll take you back to your home screen and we're going to go to the left to the magnifying glass and we are now going to type in downloader you don't want to select any other pop-ups that come down below like you don't want to click downloader app you want to completely type out downloader and then you're going to select that okay guys once you select that you are then going to install the downloader app it should already be highlighted with the big arrow pointing down you're going to click on that and it is going to take you to the actual installation screen now mine says I own it because I've downloaded it multiple times on other fire sticks but just go ahead and click it it may say um, install it for you guys so now that it's downloading just click OK that you got it give it a few seconds to work and now you can open it And that's just letting you know about some new features. So just click OK. And now we're going to start um, typing in a URL. Okay, guys, once here, we're going to just go ahead. We're going to hit the middle button of our remote. And HTTP is already there. So we're just going to have to type in Kodi.tv. K-O-D-I dot TV. And then we're going to go over to Go. That is going to start the downloader for Kodi. Just hit OK about the JavaScript disabled. That's what you want. So the little red circle that you see here is going to be our selector now or your pointer. So now we're going to just scroll down and you want to go down to the icon section. And here we're going to of course pick the Android icon which is like the little robot. So we're going to click on that and it's going to take us to another screen. Now this screen will look familiar to those who have already had Kodi and these icons look very familiar. So we're going to click the green Android this time. Once you select the green Android, it's going to take you to the newest version of Kodi, which is the 17.4. From here, I am choosing the ARM 7A 32-bit you'll see the, the red um, circle go down to that shortly. And if this does not work for you, definitely come back and pick the 64-bit, which is right to the right of this one. But either one should work. Um, and 32-bit is just enough for me. So once I select that, the download process begins. And once it's finished downloading, you'll be prompted at or you'll go to the installation screen. So scroll down and over and click install.
Okay, once it's installed, click open. The pop-up will say Cody is ready to launch. So you can scroll down and go over to open. And then it's going to do its initial run of Cody. So there you have it. It's definitely worked. Cody is there. And I'm just going to get it to our home screen with Cody. And I'm going to show you guys some great additions that you want to do. Um, some great sources to add. But first, I'm going to switch my screen display. And I know it's a little been, been gangster leaning the entire time. Bear with me. This is my second video. So I'm just fixing the zoom so that you guys can see it. And let's get started into adding some sources. Okay guys, so this is your Cody home screen. This is what it will look like when you come on to Cody. You can definitely switch up the interface of it and we'll go over that in another video. But you basically will navigate it through the add-on section. And right now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and add on things. So we're going up to the middle icon, which is the system icon. And we're going to scroll over to system settings. Once we're in system settings, we want to go down to add-ons and we want to just make sure that we do accept apps from unknown sources. So we're going to go over to the right, scroll down, and you want to hit your select button and make sure you're going to click yes. And that will just, you'll see that the little um, ball is white instead of blue. So that lets you know that it's, okay, it's working. I'm tongue-tied, guys. So now we're going to go back and we're going to go to file manager. Once we're in File Manager, we are going to add a source. Click on that. And here's our first source that we're adding. So you're going to go ahead and type in this URL. So it is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash knobs and nerds dot com forward slash portal. N O O B S A N D N E R D S dot C O M forward slash P O R T A L. And you're going to hit OK. Now that is going to show you that the source is added and you, they also entered a name for it, which is Portal. We're going to keep it. Click OK. And you see that it's there in the file manager. Now we're going to add one more source. And we have to put in another URL. This one is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash tinyurl.com forward slash colrep6. Everything's on the screen. I didn't spell this one out for you guys because you can read. Okay. Once that's in, you're going to click OK, and it's going to call that cold repo 6, OK? And you see that both of the sources are added. You see the portal and cold repo 6. OK, guys, so right here, I'm just making sure that the zip files are in. You don't have to worry about any of this file. As long as you see zip, we're good to go. And you see the noobs and nerds zip at the bottom. The other one was at the top. If I went too fast, please go back and just pause the video. But now we're going to exit the file manager to the Cody home screen. Okay, once we are here, we're going to scroll down to add-ons. Once we're in add-ons, you want to go all the way up to the top to the to the icon that looks like a box, an open box, which is the first icon, and you're going to select that. And we want to go down and install from zip file. Select it. And there's your cold repo. So we're going to click that one. Go down and click it. And we're going to go down to the zip and hit OK. And that is going to install it in the background. Just wait until you get the pop-up that says it is installed. And we'll move on to the next section.
Okay, so it says Colossus Repository installed. Repository installed. Okay, so we're going to go back <laughs> using our back arrow and we want to install from zip file again and we are doing portal this time. Select it and then you're going to go down to knobs and nerds and select that zip file. Click, uh, click on it and that will go ahead and start that download and you'll see a pop up very soon. So that's installed. Okay guys, we're going to go back using the back arrow and we're going to scroll down to Colossus Repository. Now this is the mecca of things that you may want to add. We're going to scroll down to video add-ons. And here you have an entire list. You can go through and see what you want to choose, but I'm going to show you the most popular. Um, Bennu is the new Phoenix. So we're going to definitely click that. And once you click it, install is already highlighted. So you can select that again and the download process will begin. Now, Bennu is live TV. There's movies you can watch things that are in the theater so it's a very very good add-on to have just play around with it and if you don't like it you can always uninstall and you can always come back to this repository and add different apps as well so it's downloading you can see the sign to the right and now that it's done there's a check and we can go ahead and go to the next download so the one that I really love is Covenant it is the new Exodus. So we're gonna go down there and we're gonna select it and we're going to install that as well. Now, this is an updated or upgrade from Exodus. It's pretty much the same platform, but they have removed all the kinks in there and it's just a smoother app and I love it. So now that one is done and let me just scroll down and see what else. Um, Okay guys, and if you are into sports like me, I'm going to select Sports Devil to download because that is one of my favorites as well. But like I stated before, multiple times, download whatever you want. Sports Devil, I'm going to click it, same pattern, install it, and then it will begin downloading. There are also um, adult content on here, so just be careful if that's what you want to download that you don't have any children or anyone because kids are smart they can definitely learn how to work a fire stick so just make sure you put those parental controls on there and you'll be good to go if that's what you're into <laughs> so i'm going to hit my back arrow twice and i'm going back out to the noobs and nerds repository and i'm going into the video add-ons the same way we did with colossus and in here it's another listing of things that you can download this 1080p movies these are tons of movies that you can watch in high def um but i'm going to install bob unleashed which is like another phoenix slash exodus or whatever it's called now <laughs> so i'm downloading that and you guys there's disney junior there's a lot of cartoons and things on this one so if you have young children and you want to keep them entertained and out of your hair, mm -hmm. download some of these. <laughs> um, but the next one that I am going to do is this one. And um, all right, let me click on that. So I'm going to install Elysium. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but for now it's called Elysium. We're going to download that. And let me see if there's anything else I want. No. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. That is the end of this video. Make sure that you thumbs up and leave a comment below. And make sure that you subscribe because I'm going to be putting out more videos to show you how to navigate the add-ons that we added and to really tailor them to suit your needs. So again, thank you for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing guys. Smooches.